I was able to reach Brent Swadley by phone today as his business dealings with the state and your tax dollars are under fire. His message to me, the truth will all come out. And let me be clear, I do not have any sort of relationship with Brent Swadley. I don't know Brent Swadley. Uh, I have no involvement in this contract. The governor Friday doubled down on his lack of involvement with Brent Swadley and the controversial contracts that put six of his restaurants in state parks. Hi, Brent. It's Wendy Suarez from Fox 25. Just hoping to finally get some of uh, your side of the story. Can you verify that you had a relationship with the governor? While he wouldn't speak with us on camera, Swadley did tell us over the phone, quote, it's so political and way above us that I don't even know. It's heartbreaking what Kevin Stitt said. I mean, I was in tears. I couldn't believe he was going to act like he doesn't know me. Swadley also expressed frustration about how state leaders are handling the situation, telling me, quote, it's not at all the way it's being portrayed in any form or fashion, and we've yet to be contacted by the state. No one has told us anything, so we are as shocked as can be. Swadley denied knowingly skirting the permitting process at the restaurants, telling me he didn't know there was a state fire marshal and that they had been working with local fire departments at each location. A Fox 25 investigation revealed still a majority of the restaurants are not currently up to code. Following our reports, the head of the Oklahoma Tourism and Recreation Department, Jerry Winchester, resigned, and the governor vowed to protect taxpayers and shine a light on any corruption or bad actors. But Swadley insists nothing is as it appears, saying, quote, I would love for someone to start to consider that we might be the victims here. We may be the ones who've been corrupted against. Consider that. Swadley said he had three catering events on the schedule for this week with the state fire marshal's office, including one today. Saturday, he got a message saying that with everything going on, they had to cancel. He called it unfair. Dan.